Hi guys, it's Brett from Me In Charge Gaming, and today I'll be showing you the Assassin class in the Minecraft game and Annihilation. So this video will cover the pros and cons of the Assassin class, and teach you tips and tricks for getting kills and winning your game. The Assassin class is for the players that want to soar through the air in an invisible fast blur, and sneak up to and away from enemies. The Assassin spawns with wooden axe, pickaxe, spade, sword, and a feather entitled Leap. This feather is the source of the Assassin's power. Once right clicked, it grants the Assassin loads of abilities. The first thing it does is send the player in a massive leap in whichever direction they are looking in. The jump is around 3 times higher than the acrobat, meaning you can get to places they can't. In total you can get up to about 12 blocks, 14 blocks if you jump at the same time. Also, whilst in the leap you cannot take full damage, so you can jump off as many things as you like. Some of the things you can do with the jump is leap onto high areas, jump into your teams or the enemy's nexus, this works well on maps such as kingdoms, you can jump out of the void of knocked in, you can jump into the canyon on the map canyon. You can jump off sky bridges when infiltrating a base. You can jump away from enemies when fighting. You can jump over enemies' walls or defensive structures, rendering fancy coastal bases useless. You can jump after someone if they try and escape. Or you can do an Assassin's Creed leap of faith on someone. A tactic with the leap is to look up in a direction, instead of just looking straight. This will project you further. Just as you thought the class couldn't get any better, the assassin gets 3 buffs after he uses his leap. The first buff you get is haste. This increases your mining speed, similar to the tinkerer, which means you can leap up onto an enemy's nexus with the massive jump and then break it really fast. You can also jump into the diamond mine and speed mine, or you can just use it in your normal iron mine as a boost. The haste is good if you're competing against a player to mine a block, for example the coastal iron blocks in the middle. Another buff you get is speed, this means you can run a lot faster, just like the default scout. Having speed means you can peg it away from enemies or peg it towards them, giving you the upper hand. Speed also gives you much more manoeuvrability in combat situations, so you're more likely to win the battle. The main buff you get is invisibility. This means you become completely invisible, just like the spy. When invis, your armour goes invisible, unlike invisibility pots. However, your items in your hand are still visible, meaning enemies can see you better. This buff enables you to escape out of the battlefield, or charge in there without being seen. You can use the invis in conjunction with the leap and jump behind an enemy and kill him. If you get hit or hit someone, you will be turned back to being visible. This also happens when you break a nexus, so be careful. Don't start a killing spree if you just want to escape. A good tactic with the invis is keeping a slot in your inventory free, so you can hide your hand when invis. All these abilities together make you the ultimate killing machine. You can jump over a wall of a nexus, use the invis to not be seen, use the speed to get a good position, and use the haste to wreck the nexus. Whilst the assassin is in assassination mode, you don't take full damage whatsoever, even after you use the initial leap, so you can jump into as many holes as you like. After 8 seconds the perks run out, and you get a 40 second cooldown time to use it again, which is not that much considering how OP it is. The 40 second cooldown time is reduced by 8 seconds every time you get a kill, but only for the leap you are currently using. If you want to see more of the assassin class, check out our playthrough, where we use the powers to own our enemies. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Yeah. I got it. That speed. Yeah, he's out of power too. Where am I? I'm here! I'm here, sucker! Now we can move on to the raising of the assassin. For useful, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. You get a large jump, invis, haste, and speed all at once in the assassination mode. For killing, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. You can sneakily invis, jump behind someone and take them out. And the speed gives you much more manoeuvrability. For fun, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10. It's really fun to play. You can escape and catch up to loads of people, so it's really good. For ease of use, I'm going to give it a 5 out of 10. Right clicking the feather is easy, but it's using the buff correctly that are hard. You have to keep a spare slot entry for the invis, which is kind of annoying. For troll, I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Invis is such a troll, you can just pop up behind someone when fighting, or just jump away from them. So the overall rating is, I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I'm going to say it's an absolutely freaking awesome class, guys. It's really good killing advantages, and it's pretty well balanced. I'd really recommend you getting it. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out our other class videos. Give us a like, give us a sub, and give us a comment. See you guys next time.